Heat rises from the street on a hot summer day. As we all know, it's super hot in Phoenix. We need more shade. The design of cities and neighborhoods in the valley having a huge impact on the urban heat island effect. The biggest contributors is the widespread use of heat absorbing materials such as asphalt, concrete, and rooftops. And these surfaces soak up solar radiation during the day and then slowly release, release it at night. Another big contributor, heat generating sources. Cars, air conditioning units, manufacturing processes, all of these things release heat into the urban environment and that further increases temperature. Dr. Arian Medell started studying heat after she moved to Phoenix from Germany. So if we want to protect people from the heat and design effective interventions, we need to zoom in and understand heat at the human scale where people actually live, walk or wait for the bus or play in a park. Realizing there isn't a one size fits all fix for urban heat islands. Increasing vegetation, trees, green roofs, parks, uh, trees provide shade, but they also cool the air. Building a toolbox of strategies can help reduce the impact. The City of Phoenix's Community Canopy Tree Program started back in 2023. Planting nearly 1,700 trees around Phoenix. More shade throughout low canopied areas, especially areas like South Phoenix, Maryvale, Sunny Slope, I-17 corridor, the areas with the lowest tree canopy coverage. The program just received $10 million to continue to create cooler microclimates around the city. It provides a beautiful environment, it provides shade, provides better air quality. There's so many different benefits. Another strategy is to use high reflective materials for roofs. These materials reflect more sunlight and absorb less heat which helps keep surfaces and air temperatures lower. When it comes to understanding urban heat island effect, Dr. Middle believes it goes beyond the traditional definition. There are pockets or hot spots that can be much hotter than others, sometimes by several degrees. And these micro urban heat islands can exist at the scale of a single block or neighborhood. Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.